guess where are we? I'm so excited because today I'm going Pena Street shopping. So guys, this is the outfit that I'm wearing today. My walking speed is pretty slow actually. I'm walking like a turtle. But my sister and my cousin and my mom and her grandma, everyone is freaking speed at walking. When you meet me, if I'm gonna walk with you, it's very tiring. Okay? See you at the door. <laughs> now we need to go to the Vanaharasvi there, Pitta. I don't know the English name, Broskis. Petta is one of the most famous and bustling streets in Sri Lanka. It's mostly known for the Petta market, a series of open-air bazaars and markets. A huge number of wholesale and retail shops, commercial institutions and organizations are located. And also, everyone's go-to place to buy every item for reasonable prices. Today, we are going to go sari shopping in 2nd Cross Street in Petta Market, for an upcoming wedding function. I already have all the outfits that I need to wear but for my mom and one of my relatives they doesn't have. So I thought why not sharing all the places that I go to shop these saris and how much would they cost because it would be very beneficial for you guys if you are going on sari shopping. So tag along in this video because you will find it very useful and subscribe if you enjoy it as well. You might not believe but my first impression on Peta was really amazing. This is one of the best places to go on thrifting or get your items for affordable prices. Huh? Uh -huh. He's photogenic. I'm the bride. No, I'm going to party. Let's go and shop Sohari. Show me. <laughs> my mom wanted to go for a sari which is very lightweight which doesn't have that much of heavy embroidery so this was her favorite actually i also was looking out for a good one but little did you know that my sister is the one who always selects the shops and the clothes to buy for my mom and she even gives me the advices like what to wear what's not to wear what looks good on me what doesn't look good on me i mean my sister is such a fashionista And then for the first time, I just wanted to drape a sari on my mom. And I must say that I attempted it successfully, but it didn't go well. Because you know why I have draped the sari in the wrong way? Kind of embarrassing, but it's fine. After that, I wanted to try draping this sari for myself, but I must be honest that I am good at draping sari for myself. And also, I always choose saris that also shows my figure very nicely, which enhances my body features, such as my waist, my bust area. And there you go, you can see that I am draping the sari. And overall, it was really nice to be honest. So, if you are going to shop for a wedding sari as a wedding guest, second cross street is the best places to shop saris guys because most of the shops the prices varies around from five thousand to six thousand if your budget is like ten thousand rupees you surely can get a good sari with good quality and with your preference look my mom got this it costed only around six thousand five hundred i as i remember it was a seven thousand one but you can surely negotiate the price with the windows 
I would say it is such a beggar. We got the sari. And we are going to another shop to get another sari. Finally, got I must be honest, shopping at Peta for saris is another kind of experience. You know why? Now, we recently, when we went for another shop, we went there in the ground floor. And if we want to do some fit on or get in more detail, we had to go to six floors up in the building it's like the whole market is built up like all the shops are built up in like boxes but it's a whole different kind of experience i think they are also importing good quality clothes from india as well but i don't know this shop we went they didn't have apparently the sari that we are looking for so we ended up not purchasing from them and you know the fun fact is that the vendor told me that you guys are not looking for the perfect one i think your taste is not good blah 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 but what the hell the customer is selecting whatever that they thinks they want and finally after at the third stop And then for our cuisine, we was looking for a party frog. We couldn't find some places for uh, some pieces for the affordable prices, so we just had to go one of the party frog shops and get it for like I think three five thousand to six thousand rupees. I guess, yeah, it was quite expensive. It was even though in the food, yeah, that's it. Just like that, we are done with Peta Street Shopping. Episode 1. Subscribe if you enjoy the video. I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>